Good day, classmates and Dr. Bawa. I am Mr. Dino Listones, and I'll be discussing the theory of the science of unitary human being by Martha E. Rogers as part of the course requirements for the caring science in nursing. Martha Rogers was an American nurse researcher, theorist, and author widely known for developing the science of unitary human beings and for her landmark book, An Introduction to the Theoretical Basis of Nursing. She believes that a patient can never be separated from his or her environment when addressing health and treatment. Her knowledge about the existence the coexistence of the human and his or her environment contributed a lot in the process of change toward better health. Martha Rogers was born on May 12, 1914 in Dallas, Texas, sharing a birthday with Florence Nightingale. She was the eldest of four children. She had a thirst for knowledge at an early age. She also loved to read various topics like anthropology, cosmology, psychology, astronomy, ethics, statics, ethnography, archaeology, Eastern philosophy. In fact, Rogers already knew the Greek alphabet by age 10. By the 6th grade, she already finished reading all volumes of the child's book of knowledge and was into the Encyclopedia Britannica. Initially, Martha Rogers wanted to do something that would hopefully contribute to social welfare like law and medicine. However, she only studied medicine for a couple of years. Then she then transferred to Knoxville General Hospital's in nursing program and was one of the 25 students in her class. She described her training as at times as being miserable because the training was like the army pre-Nightingale. Rogers received her nursing diploma from the Knoxville General Hospital School of Nursing in 1936, then earned her public health nursing degree from George Peabody College in Tennessee in 1937. She sold her car to pay her tuition and entered a master's degree program full-time. Her master's degree was from Teachers College at Columbia University in 1945, and her doctorate in nursing was given to her from Johns Hopkins University doctorate in 1945. In 1954, rather. She completed her studies in 1954, and the title of her dissertation was The Association of Maternal and Fetal Factors with the Development of behavior problems among elementary school children. After Martha Rogers graduated from George Peabody College in Tennessee in 1937, she worked for the Children's Fund of Michigan for two years as public health nurse. In 1940, she accepted a position in Hart Ford City at the Visiting Nurse Association. She worked at the association for five years first as an assistant supervisor, then as assistant education director, and lastly as the acting director of education. At the same time, she was completing her coursework at Teachers College and completed her degree requirements for Master of Arts in 1945. After completing her degree in 1945, she sent out a number of job inquiry letters, considering 
considered staying in Hartford but settled on a position as the executive director visiting nurse in Phoenix, Arizona. She believed she may have been the first nurse in Arizona with master's degree. And from 1945 to 1951, she built up the visiting nursing service in Phoenix. While a doctoral student, she did spend a year as a visiting lecturer at the Catholic University in Washington, D.C. Rogers was then appointed as professor and head of the Division of Nursing at New York University after, right after graduating from Hopkins. Rogers officially retired as professor and head of the Division of Nursing in 1975 after 21 years of service. Following her retirement, she continued to teach at New York University, was a frequent presenter at scientific conferences throughout the world, and consistently worked to refine her conceptual system. Roger was also actively involved in professional nursing organizations and associations concerned with education and scholarship. In 1979, she became a professor emerita and continued to have an active role in the development of nursing and the science of unitary human beings. Martha Rogers' theory is known as the science of unitary human beings. The theory views nursing as both as a science, the science of unitary human beings. The theory views nursing as both a science and an art as it provides a way to view the unitary human being who is integral with the universe. The unitary human being and his or her environment are one. Nursing focuses on people and the manifestations that emerge from the mutual human environmental field process. The science of unitary human beings contains two dimensions. The first is the science of nursing, which is the knowledge specific to the field of nursing that comes from scientific research. And the second dimension is the art of nursing. The art of nursing it involves using the science of nursing creatively to help better the life of the patient. Her model addresses the importance of the environment as an integral part of the patient and uses that knowledge to help nurses blend the science and art of nursing to ensure patients have a smooth recovery and can get back to the best health possible. Martha Rogers wrote three books that enriched the learning experience and influenced the direction of nursing research for countless students. One of which is Educational Revolution in Nursing in 1961 and Education uh, Reveal in Nursing in 1964. In about 1963, Rogers edited a journal called Nursing Science. It was during the time that Rogers was beginning to formulate ideas about the publication of her third book, An Introduction to the Theoretical Basis of Nursing in 1970, the last of which introduced the four Rogerian principles of hemodynamics. Her publications include Theoretical Basis of Nursing in 1917, Nursing Science and Art, A Perspective in 1988, Vision Space Based Nursing in 1990, and Nursing Science of Unitary Human Beings Update in 1990. Martha Rogers was honored with numerous awards and citations for her sustained contributions to nursing and science. In 1996, she was posthumously inducted into the American Nurses Association's Hall of Fame. Martha Rogers died on March 13, 1994 and was buried in Knoxville, Tennessee.
the belief of the coexistence of the human being, of the human and environment, has greatly influenced the process of change toward better health. So again, the belief of the coexistence of human and the environment has greatly influenced the process of change toward better health. In short, a patient can't be separated from his or her environment when addressing health and treatment. This view leads an open Marsa Eroger theory known as the science of unitary human beings, which allowed nursing to be considered one of the scientific disciplines. Roger's theory defined nursing as an art and science that is humanistic and humanitarian. It is directed toward the unitary human and its concern with the nature and direction of human development. So the goal of nurses is to participate in the process of change. According to Roger's, the science of unitary human being contains two dimensions. One is the science of nursing, which is the knowledge specific to the field of nursing that comes from scientific research. And another one, again, is the art of nursing, which involves using the science of nursing creatively to help better the life of the patient. So the conceptual framework of the uh, Rogers theory of unitary human being, one of course is your energy fields. So on energy fields, it constitutes the fundamental unit of both the living and the non-living. Field is the unifying concept and energy signifies the dynamic nature of the field. Two fields are identified, the human field, which is irreducible, indivisible, and dimensional energy field identified by pattern that are specific to the whole part and that cannot be predicted from knowledge of the parts. Environmental field identified by pattern and integral with the human field. The second one is the openness or universe of open system. Holds that energy fields are infinite, open, and integral with one another. The human and environmental fields are continuous process and are open system. The next will be the pattern. Identifies and distinguishing characteristic of energy fields. The nature changes continuously and innovatively and give identity to energy fields. Pattern may manifest disease, illness, or well-being. And the last one, of course, is your fundamentality, spaceless and timeless reality an infinite domain without limit, express the idea of unitary whole. So for the meta paradigm for this, you have the nursing, person, health, and environment. So we will discuss this one by one. So for nursing, Again, what's the purpose of nursing according to this theory, of course, is to promote health and well-being for all persons. For nursing, it is science and arts. Nursing is a learned profession and it's both a science and an art. It is an empirical science and like other sciences, it lies in the phenomenon central to its focus. Rogerian nursing focuses on the concern with people and the world in which they live, a natural fit for nursing care, as it encompasses people and their environments. It is a study of unitary, irreducible, indivisible human and environment fields, people and their world. Rogers claims that nursing exists to serve people, and the safe practice of nursing depends on the nature and amount of scientific nursing knowledge the nurse brings to his or her practice. The next is the person. 
According to this theory, person is an open system in a continuous process with the open system that is environment or integrality. Human beings are not disembodied entities nor they are mechanical aggregates. Man is a unified whole possessing his own integrity and manifesting characteristics that are more than and different from the sum of his parts. That's according to Rogers in 1970. A person is defined as indivisible, pan-dimensional energy field pattern identified by a pattern and manifesting characteristic is specific to the whole and that can't be predicted from knowledge of the parts. A person is also a unified whole having its own distinct characteristics that can't be viewed by looking at, describing, or summarizing the parts. Next is health. According to this theory, passive health to symbolize wellness and the absence of disease and major illness. That's according to Rogers in 1970. Later, she wrote that wellness is much better term because the term health is very ambiguous. Rogers defined health as an expression of the life process. It is the characteristic and behavior coming from the mutual simultaneous interactions of the human and environmental fields. And health and illness are part of the same continuum. The multiple events occurring during life process show the extent to which a person is achieving his or her maximum health potential. The events vary in their expression from greatest health to those conditions that are incompatible with the maintaining life processes. And the last one, it's your environment. Environment, this is an irreducible pan-dimensional energy field identified by pattern and manifesting characteristics different from those of the parts. Its environmental field is specific to its given human field. Both change continuously and creatively. That's according to Rogers in 1994. So what are the theoretical assertions of this theory? So one, it's of course the hemodynamics. Hemodynamics, the, the principles which describe the nature of the intrinsic change occurring in wave patterns, energy fields, and the universe as a whole. So part of this hemodynamic, of course, is the helicy. Helicy describes a spiral development in continuous, non-repeating, and innovative patterning. The nature of change evolved from probabilistic to unpredictable, while remaining continuous and innovative. The second one is resonancy. Development from lower to higher frequency that is with varying degrees of intensity embodies wave frequency and energy field, field pattern. And the last one is integrality. Reflects the unity or wholeness of humans and their environment. So what is the acceptance of this theory by the nursing community? So one is with regards to practice. Existence is a totality of experience. Nursing is a theoretical knowledge translated into creative action. Wellness, not health, is the goal and pattern manifest characteristics of the whole. But turning modalities are example of this, uh, the practice we have massage, the touch therapy, music, aromatherapy, and your meditation. Next is on education. Rogers discusses structuring nursing education programs to teach nursing as a science and as a learned profession. And last is the research. There are three prominent grand theories grounded in Rogers' conceptual model. One is the Newman's theory of health as expanding consciousness. The second one is the Parsis theory of human becoming. 
and the third one is the Fitz particulite perspective retin model. Exemplars of middle range theories derived from hemodynamic principles include power as knowing participation in change, that is helicy, the theory of perceived dissonance, that is resonancy, and the theory of the interactive rhythms, that is integrality. So what is the usual critique of the work of Rogers? So with regards to clarity, principles difficult to understand, lack of operational definition, and inadequate tools for measurement. Simplicity complex upon first inspection. And on generali generality, rather, abstract model broad in scope. And with regards to accessibility, deductive, no immediate empirical support. And with regards to importance, support, nursing, developing identity as a science. So let me end this presentation by reading the quote of Rogers that professional practice in nursing seeks to promote symphonic interaction between man and environment, to strengthen the coherence and integrity of the human field, and to direct and redirect patterning of the human and environmental fields for realization of maximum health potential. With that, thank you for watching my presentation. Yeah.